Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Summer of 58. This is a new horror game, just came out in late July, developed by Emika Games. It goes for, I believe, $9 on Steam. Normally it's on sale for, uh, for about $6 right now through September, so if you like what you see, check it out. There's a link in the description. I've heard a lot of good things about Summer of 58, and I'm excited to check it out. Uh, but as with a lot of things these days, I've just been in no rush, but let's go ahead and get into it now. New game. Sometimes people make up things that aren't there. It seems to them that some entity controls their mind and their life. They do terrible things that can drive you crazy. I don't believe in paranormal phenomena. I believe that the troubles that people commit are their own fault or those that brought them to this. In order for you to believe your eyes and not fictions, I made revealing videos about paranormal phenomena in two houses in which, according to people's stories, madness was happening. My name is Alex Morton, and we're getting started. It sounds like he's... <laughs> I'm Johnny Knoxville, and welcome to Jackass. Okay. Here we are. Oh, I'm actually on rails right now? This is just a video? What does that say? Bastard. Sorry. Hate. Oh, very edgy. Are they all written in blood? I love the blood finger paint that we always see in these horror games. That poor tree. Doesn't have any room to grow. I searched all the corners, but I didn't find any evidence confirming paranormal activity in these houses. Now I'm going to an abandoned pioneer camp in Russia at the request of my subscribers to find out if the rumors that the locals have been talking about for so many years is true. They say that there are ghosts of dead people in this place. At the hands of one of the residents, he himself was never found. The bodies of those people were also not found. Local residents avoid this place, and those who were touched by this tragedy do not allow to open the doors of this building in memory of the dead and missing. I came to Russia to investigate what happened, to find out if the rumors are true and to find evidence of this. In keeping with my tradition, I closed the doors of the building behind me so that there is no temptation to leave it. Oh, okay, sure. And I'm staying here for a few nights, recording a report. I have a video camera, a sleeping bag, a backpack with things, and food with me. A okay, bit of a sloppy sentence structure there, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, okay. In keeping with your tradition, we're gonna close the doors so we can't escape, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I understand. Here we go. Need to explore this camp! <laughs> oh, so this is what you meant. You didn't mean just close the door, you meant board it up! Well, hopefully it's not a pull door from the outside because then you could just you could just push it open anyway um what is this oh that's a video camera f turn on night vision hold down the middle mouse button or e to zoom video camera got it it's like at last i can't read what it says i need to get my russian english dictionary okay i didn't know that is that is that a tool that we have well, is it somewhere in this room? My Russian English dictionary? Oh, here- That's a tiny dictionary. I was translating some Russian books in college, and I took a Russian English dictionary with me to help with the translation. I found it on the local market. Okay. We don't need to know the dictionary's origin story. It's okay. Alright, here we go. An investigation is underway on the disappearance of children and employees at the Unost uh, Pioneer Camp which was opened in 1955, under the leadership of director Maria Anatolyevna A. The suspect in this case is a child living in this camp. The name is Yakov. Evidence of the victims was found in his locker. What happened to him and where he is now is not known. Okay. Great. Thanks for the backstory. What is this room? Oh. Oh, you can just break these by hand? You don't even need, like, a crowbar or anything. You can just kick the boards till they fall off. Well, then we're not really stuck in here, are we? Why don't we just do the same thing here? I guess he doesn't want to. That's fine. Okay. Great bathroom. Amazing. 
Uh, this is this place is in perfect condition. There are legends that there was an orphanage near this camp, and there lived a strange girl who was afraid of water. She did not wash and did not go to the river. Ugh. She's gotta smell bad. One day, the older girls decided to laugh at her, tied her hands, and poured water over her. You're saying that they waterboarded her. Maybe not. Maybe they just poured water over her head, like, you know, some kind of challenge video. She was very scared and ran away. They couldn't find her for many days, and they decided that she was dead. But one night, she came back in her pajamas all wet and killed everyone who bullied her. <laughs> okay. After that, her spirit appears in the bathroom on a full moon. Oh. Alright, so it was a carry situation. Damn. I mean, I guess if they did, like, pseudo-waterboard you, yeah. I guess they kind of had it coming. Children can be cruel. For sure. Wow, every door here is boarded up! Did someone feed the cats here? That's what you're thinking about? Perdón? Hello? Who was jiggling that? Oh, this fuse is blown. There's no light in the building. Oh, okay. Somebody was trying to get in just now. Are we just gonna gloss over that? Good thing we boarded the door up and locked it, I guess. So is there an inventory? I press tab and I, the main suspects. And there's nothing right now? Okay. The fuse is blown. Have you- were you standing there earlier? I don't think you were. Oh, what? Uh, don't do that. Did you really do the ball rolls in from around the corner trope? Who did that? Did you do that? You wanna play ball, huh? I guess we're supposed to be looking for a fuse right now? Cause the fuse was blown. So... I haven't seen a fuse anywhere though. There's a cat! Oh! I didn't even see the cat! Hi cat! Cat is, uh, refusing to look at me. Where's the fuse? Okay. <coughs> it will be dark soon. Need to look for candles. Wait, what happened? Left control crouch. Oh! Candles. These candles will be useful when night falls. Thank you, cats! <laughs> By the way, did you notice this? Okay. Very loud birds in the background, and we got a siren going off. So, what do I do with the candles? Need to find a lighter or matches. Okay, we're gonna just put all three of the candles right next to each other. And we're gonna light them all at once? Okay, where would... if I were a lighter... Where would I be? Not the... the bunny's gone! It's causing all sorts of mischief. Okay. I didn't see anything, so... The lighter's almost empty. I can't always use it. Do I just light these? I can light the candles now. Alright. Do it. <laughs> Please... Why... Are we just gonna light all three of them? Why do you want me to do that? It's still light outside! Why would we light the candles now? We can still see- Now I can spread out my sleeping bag! Your- Oh, this? <laughs> Done! Need to prepare for the night! Dude, those candles are gonna burn out by the time the sun sets. Night number one. Okay. Thank you for writing it twice for me. Just in case I missed one of them. I got an achievement. Not up to sleep. Okay. Uh, my video camera isn't turning on. Well, I have night vision on my video camera, though. Wait, do I not have it? Did I put it down? Oh, here it is. What was that? Who closed this door? Are one of these doors mysteriously unboarded now? No, they're still boarded up. 
Oh, stop moving around. Look at you. You're pathetic. Think this is gonna scare me? I'm a horror vet. I'm not scared by a toy bunny. It's gonna take a lot more than that. What are you gonna do? Eat a carrot in front of me? Ooh, scary. Oh. Dead crows. When did that happen? Did that- Was that the scary thing earlier that I completely missed? You know, for a game that... Holds your hand so hard in the beginning, um... It kinda leaves you on your own in certain moments that I don't understand. Like, I don't see anything. What am I supposed to be doing right now? Oh, please. Oh, over here? Okay. I'm coming. Oh, at the window? Why are you always running away? Come back! Oh, you kick some cans? Okay. There's a- there's a little photograph there. I guess that's not what you wanted me to see, though. Okay, somebody kick some cans. Just trying to, like, follow the noises. The- The rabbit moved again. Just in case you were- Just in case you needed an update on the rabbit's whereabouts. Oh, you closed the door? It's locked now. I can't get back to my sleeping bag and candles. Hello? Oh, the rabbit's gone again. Uh, the rabbit has very heavy footsteps. I'm sorry? If you want to interact with me, we gotta work together to get these boards off the doors. Otherwise, nothing's gonna happen between us. It... it can't. Oh, wow. Oh, they're magically gone. Okay. There's a lot happening right now. Why did you do that? <laughs> what? Okay, so some ghost kid blew out my candles. Oh my god, my head. Did they knock me out? How did I get here? Oh no, did you forget? I need to find my video camera. Oh, okay. I thought- I thought they meant like, how did I get here in this building? I need to find my video camera. Well, good thing it's daytime. Oh look, a pigeon. I can't read what it says, I need to get my English- <laughs> Russian English dictionary. Uh, how are you constantly losing this? Did the evil ghost take it away because they knew that you would be useless without it? He will be powerless to stop us without this dictionary. It's his secret weapon. Don't tell me it's back near the entrance in the exact same spot. My video camera. Okay, I'll, I'll pick it up. Wait, there's a note. I need my Russian English dictionary. Oh, why it's... Why do I need to actually have it? Okay. Um, so it's... <laughs> You're not welcome here! <laughs> okay. The ghost can write. Let's go ahead and take the video camera. The one who hit me on the head took the candles. I have to figure out what's going on here. Uh, they're petty bitches is what's going on here. Need to try to turn on the lights in the entire building. Okay. So, right. That's what we need the fuse for. I'm glad we can come back to this. We gotta find a fuse. Alright, let's... Do you hear that? Somebody's humming. Okay, they're in this room. Let's kick down the boards and get to them. Somehow I feel like it's gonna mysteriously stop. Can I just... Oh, no, you can't just crouch underneath it. <sighs> Holy shit! What? Need to look this room. What, are you... Okay, so somebody was like walking on their hands here. Oh, you were more talking about this! Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I thought, I thought you were saying holy shit about like the footprints and stuff. Where is that humming coming from? Be clean, neat, 
pioneer. Show an example in everything. I see. Dead crows in this room too. Uh, okay, so they were having steak for dinner in here. Oh, look, 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 look. It doesn't work. I need to find the fuse. Got it. Fuse. Let's go in here. I haven't finished looking around the room. Oh, my bad. Wow. Got my hand slapped there. What do you want me to look at exactly? What, the bloody handprint? Oh, a newspaper. The director of the pioneer camp, Yunost, Maria Anatol... Yeah, we'll just call her Maria. Disappeared like the rest of the camp workers. Maria had previously taken care of children in an orphanage from 1944 to 1950. She was a caregiver who devoted herself only to work. Discipline was the most important to her, so the parents entrusted their children to her. I see. Uh, well, how did she react when one of the kids came back and killed everyone who bullied her? Oh my god. Oh. I'll take the box with me. If something goes wrong at night, then I'll use the light bulbs for lighting. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, let's go back, put the fuse in. Need to take the box to the sleeping bag. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> hello. Are you the one who snuffed out the candles? It's okay, we got a box of light bulbs. And, uh, fuse. Thank you. Oh, I take it here. Turn on the light! Nice. Oh, we turned on a radio. What is going on over here? Wow, how did I turn it off from all the way over here? I'm like Stretch Armstrong! Mr. Fantastic! Long ass arms! Amazing. So, can I read these newspapers? There are newspapers everywhere around here, by the way. They- What is this? These are awful photographs. Are they collectibles? They have to be. There's no other explanation for them. They're not interesting or relevant to the story, it seems. So... Okay, so that needs a light bulb, I guess? Do I go around- am I really gonna go around and, like, repair? I need to go to bed, it'll be dark soon? Okay. Sleep, don't sleep. I mean, I guess we'll sleep. Night number two. How many nights do you think there are gonna be? Five? The clock stopped at 3.07 a.m. Oh no! I got an achievement. There is no place for strangers! Hey, I'm a stranger! Okay, it won't let me pick up the light bulbs. Stop putting your camera up. Do I have to get my English-Russian dictionary, too? I wish I could look at my inventory and find out if I have it or not. Or if I set it down somewhere. I guess we'll just find out, um... <laughs> when I try to read something in Russian. Really? Oh yeah, sure. Come on in. I thought I turned this radio off. Okay, a door just opened somewhere. She walked by a lot faster this time. Hello? Did you go in here? Sorry to interrupt. Oh, the crows are gone. The dead crows. Somebody eating dead crows? I hear breathing. Sounds like it's coming from in here. Let's check it out. Hi. <sighs> Coward, face me! So at some point the lights are gonna go out and I'm gonna come back here to get light bulbs to change them out. Nothing like performing, uh, mundane daily activities in your video game escapism. Oh, what's this? Another photo. Cool. I guess it's the school children, uh, enjoying some sports. Is this the same thing? Oh, oh, this is new. It's... 
Okay. Late at night when people fall asleep. No need for fun and no need for a fool. And the bells are empty and the eyes are full of bitterness. The courtiers do not know what that fun means to the fool. The fool decides that enough is enough. And he that night wearing a sad suit poisons the court and the king. I'm sad at heart, but the plan is not a failure. The fool will no longer be fun for you. Wow, lots of um, notes in this game about like one person getting fed up and killing everyone. Very charming. Speaking of getting killed, can I die in this game? I'd love to find out. Please kill me. I would find it comforting to find out that there's actual danger. I'm not sure what to do. Oh, hey, look. It's kind of weird to think about that, that that's like an actual old photograph with actual people in it that are dead now. <laughs> like, it's easy to think to, just because this is a game, like, it, it's just a bunch of fictional characters, but those are, this is like a real photograph of real people. And they're all dead. I bet they didn't think that their photograph would end up in this video game, the summer of 58. Oh boy, in 1958, towards the end of the summer, oh, this is the uh, titular moment, the summer of 58. Parents called the camp to find out if everything was all right with their children, but no one answered. When they arrived at the camp, they found no one, only abandoned things and a mess. All the locals helped in search for the missing children, but all in vain. Uh-oh, very kind of the ghost to like leave newspaper clippings detailing their demise around the building for me to read and catch up on their lore. They didn't have to do that. They could have just like left it a mystery. This box wasn't here before. It's locked. It would be interesting to know what's inside. It sure would, main character. Let's go search for a key. Hey. <sighs> they closed and locked the door again. They keep doing this. There are spare light bulbs in the box. Oh, okay. Here we go, let's go get it. So what's gonna happen on the way there? Or on the way back? Okay. I will go look. Um... Eh. Okay. Um... Oh, it's that one. Fantastic. Say, what's that sound? Oh, it's the, it's the little, look at the fool. What is this box? But first, look, the fool. Remember that poem? Look at how evil the fool looks. Ready to kill everyone, I guess. Can I open this? It won't let me, like, interact with it. I think... Yeah, can I not open it? Hey! What's the big idea? <laughs> how did you move this without a sound? That's actually pretty impressive. This right here looks like it's a little handle. You know, to like put on, I don't know, a, a key ring? I mean, it's pretty big for that, don't you think? <laughs> you know what, it took me a while. <laughs> I was so fixated on the box. You know, it, it is interesting how the game like brute forces you into seeing that moment by like putting a little cabinet here so you don't turn away, so you have to eventually see it. It's the fool. All right. I actually don't know what was on the ceiling. I didn't get a good look at it. Oh, no, 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 no. I did you little shit! What's the big idea? <laughs> you can't look at me. Okay, somebody's breathing in here. Let's go. Back here? Oh, here we go. 
Sorry. <laughs> One day, a girl came to the camp with a stuffed hair toy. She went everywhere with him. The breathing's a lot closer now. She went everywhere with him and even slept with him. The guys began to mock her that she came with her favorite bunny as a little girl and made fun of her. Even the director asked to hide the hair in the closet so that there would be no disagreements among peers. The girl listened to her and put the hair in the locker. And the coming night, the hair came to life. He was offended by his mistress and those who mocked her and strangled everyone at night. Angry stuffed bunny, okay. So, when we take the note down, I think it's pretty clear we're gonna see something, right? No? Maybe on the way back? Hello? I would love to get a key to that. Okay, I was actually expecting... Stop doing that! What was that? I had like a bunch of stuff over here. Y'all are noisy ghosts. Let's go in here then. Was there something there? Oh, don't do the ball thing again. You already did that. There's a key there. I see it. With this key, I can open the box. <laughs> okay, wait. From 1950, a loud scandal in an orphanage for orphans. An orphanage for orphans. As opposed to an orphanage not for orphans. The nurse cruelly mocks the residents. One of the employees reported violations of authority. A decision is made to close the institution. We remind you that the shelter was open since 1944. Children who were left without parents during the war lived there. I see. You mean orphans? All right, so I picked up a key. I guess I'm gonna go open the box in here. Something gonna happen on the way back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard a door open or close or whatever. What's in the box? Dear Diary, today is the annual opening day of my camp. Can I just say real quick, I think it's really funny that even though it's pitch black, uh, the main character turns off the night vision on the camera and I guess reads it in pitch darkness? I have been preparing... No, I was... What's happening? No, I was reading! What, I couldn't take a second to make a sarcastic comment? Okay, I went back and looked at what I was supposed to read there. So we're in a flashback right now. That's why it said the night of 58. It's just the, the transition is a bit jarring. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of warning for it. Uh, we got our Silent Hill flashlight. Let's go. The doctors make the wrong diagnosis for Ivan. He is a heart transplant. Only this will help him. I no longer have the strength to fight with the doctors. We decided not to contact them again. I will heal my son myself, no matter what it takes. Um, so he needs a heart transplant. And you're going to help him without doctors, right? Children and caregivers are asleep. I won't bother them. What was that sound then? That sounds like the sound of bothering. There's a safe there. Oh. Someone found and hid my key to the safe. Are you? Someone found and hid my key. Is it in this locker? The only locker that I can open? Oh no. What? Anna, we need to run. It's all because of the director. I was spying on her. She was talking to someone about something bad. You have to believe me. Warn everyone. We don't have much time until I hid her key in the closet. We can make it. Help me. What an asshole. What asshole? Oh. You got my key? Gimme, give gimme. Give the key to the safe. Yeah, thank you. What? What was that sound? <laughs> Let's open up my- What's in my safe? I can't wait to see this. Yakov Parasit stole the second gas cylinders. 
You have gas still? I need to spray sleeping gas so that all the children can be transferred to the hospital for surgery and then returned back. A special boy, Yakov, came to the camp. He has no parents or relatives, and he became my favorite because he is so similar to my son, Ivan. I really want to see him. Yakov is a good boy, although he does not speak, but he understands everything and does everything I ask. In the afternoon, I had to meet with Alexei Sergeyevich at the shelter where we used to work. He ordered us to fulfill our agreement tonight. This day has come. Yakov will help me with this. Before going to bed, children always invent horror stories while the counselors put them to bed. This can distract them. Really? The filter's missing and the glasses broke. That's why there's so many gas masks around. Well, we can't use that one. He ruined my gas mask! We worked together with Alexei Sergeyevich in an orphanage. Then I acted carelessly and I received a complaint. The director had to close the shelter. I was suspended from medical work. Now I will not make such a mistake because only he knows about our agreement. I must continue to find people for him to collect their kidneys, and Alexei will help to perform a heart transplant operation for Ivan. Okay. Now I understand. I was like, what are you talking about? Gas and all the children. According to all indicators from the medical record, Yakov is an ideal donor. I'll set up an accident and no one will look for him. Oh, this, this woman's awful! Hello. Need to put the gas cylinder under the door and go back to the classroom. R do we have to? I do not want to do this. I'll just gas in all the kids. Ivan, I'll save you soon. Oh no, I don't have a gas mask. The filter's missing, and the glass is broken. Oh, I got gassed too. I see, so that's what happened in the summer of 58. Oh, can't forget the English-Russian dictionary. Oh, we don't need it anymore. Okay. Well, it's been fun learning about what happened here. About all the incidents of everyone dying. It, good to see it's daytime again. I guess we stayed up all night reading Maria's one-page diary. Uh-oh. You were told, crossed out, to get out of here. Leave this place alone. It's locked. There's someone. There are empty pages left in Maria's diary. You can use them to answer. I hear him standing outside the door. Okay, well you kind of like cut yourself off there. Well, I guess Maria's diary pages would be in here, right? Because this was the classroom. Oh, cat. That is that cat breathing. Where? Oh, I have to take Maria's diary in order to hunt down the pages. I know what happened here. Let me help you. Tell me, who are you? Okay, so we just... We slide under the door. I thought I had to find pages from Maria's diary, but we just use the pages that we already have. I misunderstood what they were saying with I can use these to answer him. Okay, where's this, where's this phone? Here it is. Okay, you wanted me to come in here. Why? So the door can open? Uh-huh. Should try writing the letter again. Okay. I read that people were killed here. Did you do that? Tell me and then I can help you. Hey, did you kill a bunch of people? You can tell me. I'd like to help you, person who killed a bunch of people. Open up in there. Oh, okay. I was accused, but I didn't do it. Get out of here. Nothing like giggling children. <laughs> they always sound so playful and fu and and fun and happy. What what was that? 
Did the door open? What was that? Is your name Yakov? Have you been living here alone for many years? Alright, send it to Yakov right here. Feel free to write me back whenever. I'm gonna go check on this now, I guess. Yeah, hi. What, did you run away? <sighs> oh, finally, I got a reply. Yes, here I can communicate with my friends. We guard this place because it is our home. A lot of people came here just to break our things. But my friends helped me to drive away strangers. I'm afraid that someone will see me and tell me that I live there, or live here, and those people will come for me. Those peep? Who's those people? What's up? Can I write something new? Oh, look, there's the bunny. Was the bunny there before? Who are your friends? Why are they here too? Uh, it's taking forever. Can't you just talk, Yakov? The bunny's gone. Bunny was supervising my, uh, writing. Oh, wow, Yakov wrote a novel! The spirits of this place, those who were tortured here, they remained locked up here. That day, in the evening after lights out, someone came. Probably it was the person with whom the director spoke. He didn't find me. I think that because of this, he poisoned all the residents and the director. Oh my god, did you see that? Someone was out there. Let's write another note. There are a lot of jump scares in this game. It's, it, it's, it's almost like the developer didn't want you to get too bored passing notes back and forth to Yakov. And so they just were like, let's, let's throw in a couple jump scares in there. All this was planned by the director of the camp? What are you talking about? What kind of person was she talking to? Wait, didn't you experience the f Hey! It's a doll! Wait! How are you still knocking on the window? You're gone! Yakov, are you like... What are you doing in there? Get some WD-40, man. It's like constant with the squeaking. <laughs> Yakov's a little chatterbox now. It's all her. I saw a director talking to someone in an old hospital near the camp. They agreed that they would do their work at night. Then I realized that it was connected with us, but I couldn't warn everyone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not bored, I promise. I didn't see who else was there because I was scared and hid. In the morning, I went to the building and found no one. Her safe was also not there. I thought that the man and his assistants had taken everyone away and hidden the bodies in that building. I had to stay here and live in the ventilation. Only sometimes go to the rooms. Okay, so I wonder if this is like... Um, the guy that was supposed to do the heart transplant? Maybe he's behind everything? He's the evil ne'er-do-well? How many pages does Priya have in her diary? It's that music box again. Yeah, I've... That doesn't answer my question. Yakov doesn't answer anymore. It's time to go to the abandoned hospital. Need to tear the boards off the front door. Oh, okay, so there's a second location to this game. Interesting. There's the school and then the hospital. Uh, don't make me do these individually, please. Thank you. You never know with these games. We need to hear the sound effects of every board being torn off. Night number three! This has to be like the last night, right? Yakov said that I could find proof here. Let's take a look around! Okay, first of all, uh, hang on one second. I, I got an achievement and the achievement says hospital. What did you, did you do that? Who did that? Did you do that? Why would you do that? How, where'd I come in from? I just came here. I need to find proof. Okay, so this is the entrance. And it's completely pitch black without the... Of course. Okay. Alright! 
Oh, chains. Okay. Time to get some bolt cutters. Chain cutters, maybe. Something... Something like that. Wow. Okay, everything's chained up. What? Where? Look, there's a dream catcher. So, no nightmares. I hate gameplay loops like this where you basically just have to like, walk back and forth in a hallway until something happens. Lots of sounds happening. Oh, uh, they bloober teamed me. 1946, after the war. Dozens of children end up in shelters after losing their parents. An orphanage for the maintenance and upbringing of orphans. Worked under the leadership of the military. What's up? Can I help you? Open this. No, of course, they're both chained up still. Do I wander around like an idiot? Until the game decides it's ready to put me in the next place. Yeah, the answer is yes. Okay. I had to give you a second look for that one. The doctor of the orphanage was detained for illegal organ trafficking for six years. This is the guy. This is our guy right here. He fraudulently made incorrect diagnoses and performed operations to remove the kidney. He needs so many kidneys, apparently. The director did not know about this, but he could not continue to leave his position. The orphanage was closed. The building became abandoned. Uh-oh. It's the kidney thief himself. This door leads to another corridor. I have an angle grinder with me in my backpack. I can cut all the chains and find where the evidence is hidden. Didn't feel the need to mention that before. He ran this way. Why wouldn't you just bring it? This place won't let me go. I have to finish what I started. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Did you like my angle grinder? He was like, that's a... That's an MKH-16 right there. I recognize that model anywhere. The ghost outside is an enthusiast. Okay, should I just... Let's go in here first and, uh... Well... There's interesting sounds over here. Good job. Let's go in here first. Hey, what's up? There's so many sounds happening. I don't know if I'll make it to the morning because today's shift is bothering me. I want to run away from here, but then I won't get paid. I hear voices as if I'm not alone. I thought I saw a woman, more like her silhouette or shadow. She went to the closet. I'm afraid to follow her and move the closet. I don't want to check if it's true or maybe it's just my imagination, which has sharpened after a glass of vodka. On the cabinet weigh some products made of feathers and cobwebs. I have never seen them anywhere. They look terrible, and it smells of dead things from there. Okay, I'll have another glass and go to bed until morning. Well, thanks so much, buddy. Maybe you never woke up. Ew, stains on your mattress. Oh look, nothing like having a doll in the sink. Every home should have one. Okay, here we go in here. Oh, come on, I was about to say. If you're not going to let me in. I cut the chain off. Okay, this is a much bigger room. That's why I thought. I just had a feeling. That's why I did the other one first. Um, what's up? I know what I'm doing is wrong, but I have no choice. I have to save my son, Ivan. I was lucky that Alexi agreed to help. I mustn't let him down. No one should know about our affairs. I assume you just mean, like, the organ trafficking. Hi, buddy. In a second, okay? I gotta look around the rest of the room first. They always want attention now. They're always... 
Pay attention to me. Ooh, that's a nice angle grinder. Thanks, but I'm a bit busy looking for proof. Can I say I always think it's funny that like the battery of the angle grinder has run out. Oh no, that's sad. It only had enough juice for three cuts. I just think it's funny that they just leave incriminating evidence around, like, in plain sight. Like, at some point, someone put this on the gurney here. And we're like, yeah, why not? Why stow it away somewhere? I didn't see anything. Was I supposed to have seen something there? That's happened a couple times of, like, there was clearly a jump scare, but I just... I don't know, I guess I wasn't at the right angle or something? What? Okay, I'm gonna... I didn't have time to save him! I don't believe it, this can't be happening. This is not my Venechka. I'll save him. I need to find a donor urgently. Okay, so we found this. Oh look! Bolt cutters! Very convenient! No, I can't go back this way! So is there another chain to break? Do I go back? Very evil, very scary. Hi. Okay, this is a really pointless hallway. Oh, now you open it. Okay. Thank you so much. Watch out. Baby on the loose. <laughs> I got an achievement. The devil is inside. I don't know what caused that to happen. By the way, there's an invisible wall here. We can't take a look at this. No. It's the get locked in the bathroom scenario. A year later, after the events in 1950, the building was reclassified as a hospital, but with budget cuts, it stopped working again. The building stopped working, huh? It's messing with my mind, man. There's an upside down cross above this cabinet. Oh my. Look, just look at the evil here. Oh my god. Oh no. Some this is the this is the rope that I was hearing earlier. And look at all the skeletons! <laughs> so many people died here. How had her body not decomposed after all these years? So was this the director? Let the one who finds me feel the pain of a mother who has lost her child. I curse everyone who couldn't help me. And I'm not just going to leave. I'll be back. And you're bringing your new toys with you? <gasps> what she meant by that? And how she would return? Maria, I'm so sorry. I'm not, dude. She was gonna gas all the kids to take them to the... to the hospital and steal their kidneys and use Yakov's heart as a, as a donor for her son Ivan. No! I'm so sorry. Unless I misunderstand- am I misunderstanding the story? I thought that was her big plan. Death certificate. Here are the documents from 1958. Alexei, about whom Maria spoke, replied to her that he would no longer participate in this and refused to work with her. Then what was the case in question, and who was she talking to when Yakov saw her? There's something else. The death certificate document, this is her son Ivan. He died in the fall of 1950. I was wondering that. I was wondering, I was like, is he already dead? When she was talking about him in the flashback? Apparently she couldn't stand it and went crazy. She wanted to save him so badly that she lost touch with reality. Poor woman. Yes, poor woman who wanted to gas a group of children and take them to the hospital and steal their kidneys and then use one of them and to, to die as a substitute for her son. Poor woman, what a poor, poor woman. 
Let's all feel sorry for her. Okay, so now that I've got it, now what? Do I have to like stay in the corner so they can like do their blooper team thing in the background and give me a door? No? Is there something I need to pick up? Oh. The achievement says, I'll be back soon. Need to get out of here as soon as possible. Oh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, right there. All right, as soon as possible, creesh. I mean, my solution would be to just jump out the window. That's what I would do. Did you hear that? Three weeks later. Okay. I kind of was expecting something to happen. I thought, okay. Achievement unlocked. Return to the camp, is what it says. So what, now we tell Yakov? Hey Yakov, I've got a note for you. I did it. Hello, Yakov. You no longer need to be afraid that you will be found and accused of something that you did not do. I've taken care of everything. I didn't tell anyone that you live here with your friends. Protect this place further. Now it is rightfully only your home. Your friend, Alex Morton. I am so glad that this investigation turned out to be so interesting and unique. I managed to solve the mystery of 58 and help Yakov find peace and freedom. You can read about this in my blog, but we need to move on. I'm going to another place with a terrible history where witches used to live, and there I will have an unusual case. I will tell you about it later. Is this baiting like a sequel? The Alex Morton mystery series. So are there multiple endings to this game? Did I get like the good ending or something? Or is it all, does it all end up like this? Okay. Emeka Games. Apparently they have some other games I haven't played yet. There's one called Finding Yourself. And there's another one called um, Locked Up. I think Locked Up came out last year and Finding Yourself came out earlier in 2021. I'd be interested in playing them. Uh, yeah, this game, I guess, is this baiting the next one? It kind of looks like it. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people told me that this game was very scary, and uh, I've seen a lot of um, YouTubers, you know, play it. And, uh, well, I mean, I haven't seen them play it, but I've seen their videos pop up in my recommended and in my sub feed and stuff, playing it for the past few weeks. Uh, it is very slickly produced, I will say that. It's, the production value is very good, like, the way that everything looks and feels and sounds like aesthetically, it's very, very good. Like top notch indie horror work. Um, I, what typically frustrates me with games like this is ultimately the gameplay. Oh, we're still going. Okay, I thought I could just unload, but a few days later. I got an achievement from day to day. What? We're not done? Okay, put that on hold. The battery is dead. Well, how did that happen? I had to wait for the person who bought this house. But after his arrival, a few days later, something went wrong. This place has ceased to be harmless. I'm trapped here. I don't think that a woman from a shelter in Russia could get attached and follow me. Does this house have a pendulum for people like her? What if other spirits followed me? I mean, that's why I didn't find anyone in those houses. I miraculously managed to escape from that abandoned orphanage, but I am not sure that I will be released now. We need to try to get out and warn that guy that it's dangerous to stay here. Who's that guy? What? The guy who bought the house? Where are you right now? In the, in a basement? You got a dream catcher and a right side up cross. Is that knife? Ah. Oh. 
<laughs> Hello. Um. Oh no. <laughs> to be continued. Wait, I thought, as I was saying, aesthetically, game is great. But the gameplay is always where it falls flat for me. The gameplay in this game is a type that is very popular and very trendy in indie horror games, and it drives me nuts. It's basically, it's the same gameplay mechanics that PT had seven years ago. I'll, I'll be happy to specify what I'm talking about because people are like, oh, he's talking about PT again. Uh, but it's, it's true, like the game was so influential in more ways than just the looping hallway thing. The gameplay of PT basically was like, you walk around for a while and freak yourself out, and then after you've walked around enough or you've checked the door enough times, then something unlocks or something happens, and that's how you progress through the game, right? That, like, gameplay loop has been applied to so many games in many inferior ways, and I think this is one of them. There are so many points in this game where I wasn't really sure what to do next, but like there was, like every door was locked, and what you have to do when every door is locked is you have to just walk around, pace up and down the hallway, and and listen to the ambient sounds going off, maybe there's a jump scare or two, and then the door will magically unlock, and you can go through it to do whatever and progress the story. I can't stand that. The prime example for me of when this doesn't work, and probably the most common way that it's used, is you walk into a bathroom, and this is taken directly from PT, by the way. You walk into a bathroom, the door closes and locks behind you. You try to open the door, but it won't open. Maybe you hear, like, someone pounding on the door, or, like, you the, the walls start to bleed, or, like, the, the music starts going crazy. Someone knocks on the door, someone jiggles the handle and you're sitting in the bathroom like, what do I do? What do I do? There's nowhere to hide, there's nothing to interact with, and you just have to kind of sit there and endure the sequence for up to a minute until everything settles down and then the door opens, there's no one there. Now you can leave the bathroom. And I just really, like, layers of fear did that constantly. I can't stand that sequence. And I feel like there was too much of it in Summer of 58. Now there were times when you had to progress through the game by finding something. You had to find an item like a key, or you had to read a note, or you had to look at a box. I was fine with those. I'm fine with finding an object or doing something like a little bit more traditional progression, but I don't like have, feeling like my time's being wasted. I just feel like it's padding and it's like, it's like artificial atmosphere is how I would describe it. Like, the atmosphere isn't naturally being built up by the player going through the game independently. It's being artificially created by you, like, forcing them to stand and stay in one spot for a while. Anyway, that's my little rant. But, like I said, aesthetically, game is great. Um, the lighting and everything, like the light filtering through the window here on the menu, looks great. The ghosts were cool looking from the brief glimpses that I got of them. Whatever that thing was on the ceiling, there were cool moments. You know, I liked the jump scares, there were too many of them. I think they should have just stuck to like the big, the, like the big five, or I don't know however many there were, but like the big ones. I'm not like one of those anti-jump scare guys, I think they're good, I think it's like tension payoff, but I do feel like it was used too frequently in this game. Kinda got desensitized to it a bit. Alright, those are my thoughts on Summer 58, not a bad game. Is it worth $9? I don't know, but it's on sale right now. I do want to check out the devs other games, because this was interesting, at least, in some ways, and uh, I'm glad I played it. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments about Summer 58, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Think critically.